Hey YouTube family, it's Sarah, less of Sarah. It's Tuesday, so I'm here with the video and this is something a little bit different than what I normally do. I'm not sure I've done one of these before, but I'm gonna do a product review video. Um, and I'm gonna focus on things that are either brand new to the market or new to me um, in the protein space. Um, so I'm gonna talk about what I do as far as protein shakes right now, what I uh, do for yogurt, um, which is a big part of my diet, I know a lot of people, um, what I do um, as far as uh, water and beverages and that sort of thing, and also protein bars and share a few new things with you guys. Um, and hopefully that'll be useful to someone. Um, I'm sorry, I, you might see me fidgeting in this video. I'm, I'm sure some of you know and some of you are probably wondering, this is my bed behind me and I'm clearly sitting on the floor in all of my videos and I do that because um, I have a nice big window in the bedroom and it gives lots of light to make videos with my iPad. But um, I may have to find a new place to make videos. I actually got, got a tripod and a mount for my iPad um, because my butt, I can't sit on the floor and make a 15 minute video. My bum is killing me when I get up. Like I can feel the bones in my behind and ow, it hurts. <laughs> so you may see a change of scenery in my videos very soon because honestly I'm not sure how much longer I can make videos sitting on the floor. So um, anyway, let's start. I'm just going to whip out my trusty phone because I did want to check and write down the prices of things that I was talking about. And I am going to put links to where you can purchase the items that I talk about in the video. Um, if I can, I'm just going to link to the manufacturer's site. It doesn't mean that's the only place that you can buy it, uh, but it's just easiest to just give you one source. You can always ask Uncle Google where else you can buy the things that I'm talking about. So the first one I'm going to talk about is um, protein shakes. So I know that for most of us, um, that's definitely a big deal. I know there's people who are still years out that use protein shakes. I know there are people whose surgeons suggest they don't use protein shakes or tell them not to use protein shakes. I'm not going to get into that in this video. I'm not. Whatever. Do what you need to do. I um, would not hit my protein goal on a daily basis generally without a protein shake. I just can't physically eat enough to get in that 90 to 100 grams of protein that I need. Again, uh, I'm tall, I have a large frame, I work out quite a bit, um, I need that extra protein, 60 or 70 isn't gonna cut it for me, and so I need to have a protein shake to up my protein, um, or some kind of protein supplement. So, um, I did use the Premier Protein Shakes for a long time. Those are the pre-made, ready-to-drink shakes you can buy at uh, Sam's and Costco, and I just got to the point where I couldn't deal with them anymore. I don't know what it was, but one day it was just like, nope, no go. Um, I know that they now sell the vanilla flavor here in Canada, so I want to try those. I was talking to Jen Johnston about them the other day. She said they were really good. I want to try those and see whether that's any better. Um, but in the interim, I have found a new love, which is this. Fit Frappe. Um, and if you are my Facebook friend or if you are part of my Facebook group called Hey WLSers, what are you eating today? And I'll put a link uh, as well in this video to that group. Um, then you will have heard me and other people talking about Fit Frappe. Um, I had first heard about it a long time ago, actually, I think on bariatricfoodie.com. And then um, they were giving out samples at the meet and greet in Vegas this year. And so a bunch of my friends were there, Kirk and Mike. No, not Kirk. Sorry, Kirk. You were not there. <laughs> Uh, Mike and Corey and Jamie were there and um, they were talking about how much they liked them and I thought mm, I need to try that. So when I went to New York I'd ordered some sample packages to take with me. Love them. Uh, the only issue for me with the Fit Frappe and again this is a personal thing for me there's just too many carbs. Um, in a standard serving um, which is 16 fluid ounces so it's two scoops um, you're getting 20 grams of protein, which is cool, but you're getting 25 grams of carbs. And although, um, you know, a lot of those carbs are sugar, alcohol, five grams of carbs is fiber. Oh, you know, when you're trying to keep it at 50 or 60 a day, that's a lot of carbs for, uh, for a protein shake. So what I decided to do was try and find something that I could mix with the Fit Frappe. The Fit Frappe is amazing because it's this really thick, um, yeah, it's just really thick, almost like a milkshake, especially if you blend it with ice, which is what I do. And 
but sometimes it was even too thick. So I thought, well, if I blended it with a scoop of something else, maybe we'd do a little better. So what I've been blending it with is this, and I'm sure you guys have seen this before. This is the ISO Pure Zero Carb uh, Vanilla Protein Powder. Um, and I actually have a, a, a tub of vanilla and a tub of chocolate. Um, so the numbers on the ISO Pure um, are a lot better, I guess one would say, in the sense of carbs and that sort of thing. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it actually is zero carb. Um, I'm just going to whip open my fitness pal here so I can give you guys an idea of, um, oh, I probably can't because it's not going to show me. Shoot. Okay. Well, let's put it this way. <laughs> Between the two, um, I use one scoop of IsoPure. Okay. One scoop of Fit Frappe. I use about six ounces of So Delicious coconut milk unsweetened, and then I use about six ice cubes, and I blend that up in my Ninja, and it makes this really thick, total like milkshake consistency, frappe flavored deliciousness. I actually look forward to drinking it. It doesn't taste like a protein shake at all to me. I am in desperate sweet love with it. I really could probably drink it all day long and be happy with that. Um, that one shake has about 35 grams of protein. Um, I think it has about 12 or 12 and a half grams of carbs. Um, the fat I think is negligible. Um, I think it might be like two and a half grams of fat, something like that. Um, and, and, uh, calorie wise, um, for what I just described, it's 200 calories. Exactly. So for me, it's a fantastic way to start off the day. I normally have it for breakfast. Um, but sometimes I'll have it as my last meal at night. Um, if I'm running at night, sometimes I'll have it right before I go run or I might have it afterwards. Um, I love it to death. I just think it's the best thing ever. So um, I definitely suggest you try it. What I have is a tub of vanilla uh, ice up here, a tub of chocolate or Dutch chocolate, I think it's called. I have three of these large Fit Frappe tubs. This is vanilla latte. I also have mocha and espresso. And I mix and match the vanilla and chocolate with those three things. Um, so it basically has six different flavor combinations. And then I have a bunch of Tarani syrups that I can add to. So the flavor combinations are pretty much kind of endless, which is awesome, um, and gives good variety. So you can check those out. Um, Isopure is about $50 a tub at GNC, and Fit Frappe is, I believe, uh, somewhere around $42 um, if you buy direct from a big train. Sorry, $45 for the 2.25 pound uh, tub that I just showed you from bigtrain.com. Um, you can also buy it on Amazon and other places as well, so it's worth checking out. Um, so those are protein shakes that I've been having. What about protein bars? Well, you guys probably know I'm a Quest Bar girl. I really love my Quest Bars. Uh, chocolate chip cookie dough is my favorite, favorite. Um, and they have just released a brand new bar. And this is it. Show you guys up close. Ooh, it's raspberry white chocolate. Numbers are very similar to other Quest Bars. It's 190 uh, calories, 8 grams of fat. Um... 23 carbs, 17 of those carbs are from um, dietary fiber, the rest mostly from sugar alcohols, one gram of sugar, and 20 grams of protein in one of these. Um, if you have had the chocolate chip cookie dough, this is very similar. It has about the same amount of chocolate, except it's white chocolate. Um, the raspberry is is all throughout the bar. Um, it's not like in, uh, in in little chunks. So, you know, if, if you've had the apple pie one, it has little chunks of apple. I find the raspberry is more distributed through the whole bar, but the raspberry flavor is quite strong. Um, the texture is very similar to the cookie dough. It's a little crumbly almost, um, but I like that. I think it's good. The only thing that I will say is that I don't mind sweet things, even after surgery. I know there are a lot of people who don't like sweet, and um, I find these to, to taste quite sweet. So if you're not a fan of that sweet flavor, this may not be for you, but um, I would say if you like the chocolate chip cookie dough, you'd probably like this one too. I think it's awesome. This is uh, oh, kind of my rotating favorite, I would say right now, with the chocolate chip cookie dough. So um, Quest Protein Bars, you can buy them directly from Quest. That's what I do. I find that that is how you get them the freshest. They are uh, $25 for a box of 12 or $2.40 per bar. So check those out. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Oh, water. Um, so 
obviously I drink water. <laughs> um, I often do flavor my water with stuff. I still have a hard time drinking plain water. It's not that it doesn't sit well. It's that it tastes bad to me. Um, I can taste the mineral content. It doesn't matter what kind of water it is, spring water, um, distilled water, water from like a Brita filter, you name it. Somehow there's something about it that still doesn't work for me. So I do often do flavored waters, um, all kinds of different stuff. Um, but I saw this recently. This is called Spartos Protein Water. Um, I know that they were at the meet and greet in Vegas as well, the WLSFA meet and greet. Um, Corey J. Cook, my, my good buddy, was talking about um, was talking about them online and saying that he had purchased some. And there was a video um, on YouTube that Beth from Melting Mama and Michelle from Egg Face had done where Beth was um, trying the water. So I thought I would give it a try. Corey had passed on a, uh, a coupon, which was I think for, I want to say half off or $20. I don't know. It was a good coupon, let's put it that way. So it was, I think it was about half price. Um, and the normal price for 12 bottles of the Spartos protein water is, um, sorry, $30. Okay, so $30 for 12 bottles. They are um, 16 fluid ounces or 473 millimeters. Millimeters? No, milliliters. There are three flavors. There are three flavors that are, are sweetened, um, I don't know if they're sweetened with sugar or agave or whatever. They're not sugar-free, let's put it that way. There are three sugar-free flavors. This one is grape lemonade. There's also jackfruit and watermelon and coconut and strawberry. The thing you need to know about this is that it is flavored lightly. It is, um, if you think about something like a vitamin water or something like that, it's more along those lines. It doesn't have a really strong, strong flavor. Um, it has 40 calories per bottle. Yeah, 40 calories per bottle, zero fat, zero carbs, and 10 grams of protein. If you are not a fan of Isopure, of the Isopure Zero Carb Clear beverages, you may not be a fan of this either because it does have a similar kind of slightly proteiny taste. It is not as uh, slimy as the Isopure is, and it doesn't give you the cotton mouth quite as badly as Isopure does, but... I still find that it does give me that kind of dry mouth feeling that the ice up here does. And I, and I think probably any protein beverage like this is going to do that. I think that's just the way they work. Um, I have tried one of each of the flavors. They're all pretty good. I'm not like jumping up and down about them, but I don't dislike them. Um, I really did like the grape and lemonade. I like the coconut strawberry, the jackfruit watermelon. Uh, it was okay. It wasn't my favorite, um, but I didn't have to choke it down. I mean, it was fine. Um, I would probably not purchase them again only because I thought they were quite expensive. Um, but I'm glad that I have like eight or nine bottles. Um, I think they're great in certain circumstances when I'm like running out of the house and I need to have something protein based or if you're going on a road trip or something like that, they would be great. I just wouldn't buy them on an everyday basis, but I did like them. Uh, very last thing I want to talk about really quickly because I know other people have talked about it is, uh, Danan Light and Fit Greek Yogurt. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> um, I was mostly doing Faye Greek yogurt and mixing in things to make it palatable. Um, so Jello sugar-free pudding mix, uh, Tarani syrup, all this different stuff. Okay. Um, so yes, the Faye itself is, is good because there's no, nothing added to it, you know, whatever. But I had to add a whole bunch of things to it to make it edible to me. Okay. So, um, I was getting a little, you, know, you just get sick of things after eight months. Um, and I decided to try these. Uh, other people had been talking about them. The stats are pretty good. They're 80 calories for 5.3 grams. Um, sorry, 5.3 ounces. Um, oh, you know what? Yeah. Um, I think it's... Um, sorry. <laughs> it's 12 grams of protein. I think it's about 8 carbs. Um and that they don't have the fat on here. I don't have the actual box so that it's not right on the um, on the container. But my favorite's black cherry and also pineapple. And then if you've tried them, they have the uh, Dan and Light and Fit Greek blends. There's a toasted coconut one, amazing. There's a banana one, amazing. There is a key lime one that's pretty good. There's an orange one. I wouldn't bother. It tastes crappy. Uh, Corey said it tasted like cleaner, and I agree with him. So um, if you just need a change from plain Greek yogurt or, or whatever, um, then do take a look at these. They make a really great snack. And again, um, good protein in there. A little bit higher in carbs, but you know, hey, 
whatevs. So um, that was our product for you for today. I will probably actually be back with a video for tomorrow. So until then, always remember to appreciate every step in your journey. Bye guys.